uh, a celebrating great, fabulous teachers. They shape us, they inspire us, they leave indelible marks that we sometimes don't even realize until many, many years later. So all this week, we are taking a moment to recount uh, how these unsung heroes help many of us find our voices, uh, just as one Midwest-based teacher did for our very own Kara Kinnear. Check it out. I grew up in a small town, Covington, Indiana, like 3,500 people in my town. There were like 50 people in my class. And um, I was a, a decent student. I should say I was a good student, but I was very talkative, and I seemed to get in trouble a lot. A lot of teachers impacted me, for good and bad, <laughs> but I think that the one that impacted me the most would have to be my fifth grade teacher, Mrs. Everett, because she was the first one that really encouraged me, I felt like, to pursue like my zaniness, because um, I was a very interesting child, and um, she was like, embrace that, do that more, you're a dramatic kid, but keep doing it. And other, other teachers, I feel like, were like, please be quiet calling your mother. I can remember always going up to her desk all the time and we would have these conversations and <laughs> looking back on it, I'm sure the other kids were so annoyed by me always talking to her, but it almost felt like we had a friendship, which is strange because I was in fifth grade, but, um, and I'm sure Mrs. Everett was just humoring me, but she always took time to talk to me. In my yearbook, she said, uh, I wouldn't have made it through a few days if not for your uplifting notes and smiles. I have goosebumps. <laughs> Our little Kara. <laughs> so know, cute. A hot mess. No, you, you know what's funny? <laughs> Going through all this, and our fabulous mm -hmm. producers have put these pieces, yes. not just for us, so all throughout great. the week, you're gonna hear from some of your favorite 11 Alive anchors as well, but I was going down memory lane looking through the boxes, and I was like, I love you know, Miss Hudson. It turns out Miss Hudson was hard on me because I was a chatterbox too. <laughs> I was always in trouble right. for talking, so clearly we're in the right profession. <laughs> we are, I know, I was telling Christina, I had to email my best friend or text her from high school and be like, did any of the teachers like me? Of course they did. She was like helping me come up you with some. Just a little, it's like Kara. I know. Zip it. Same thing. Yeah, yes. me too. Conduct. But we found our place. We did. We sure did. <laughs> <laughs> we made a profession out of it. We did. Thank we did. See. All right. I love you. you. Those are so <laughs> great. I can't wait to see everyone else. So make sure you tune in all week long right here on A and C.